it's Jenny on the block and today I am at Trillium Creek and excited to be talking about skin cancer. Uh, I know it's winter time but you can still get those rays from the sun so I'm here today with Dr. Torek to learn a little bit more about what to look for, what to expect, and how to schedule your skin cancer screening. Okay, so what types of skin cancer are out there and is it very common? Skin cancer is extremely common. We see two million basal cell carcinomas in a year in the United States. There's about a million squamous cell carcinomas in the United States and 100,000 melanomas, so that's a lot. I know obviously the sun is bad, but what else can cause skin cancer? Tanning beds, oh my oh. goodness gracious. Tanning beds, certain medications may make you more susceptible to getting skin cancers. Like if you're on a blood pressure medicine called hydrochlorothiazide, that increases your risk of basal cells and squamous cells dramatically. Can any type of skin tone get skin cancer? Any skin type can get skin cancers, yes. Obviously, you're the highest risk. Yes, I know. <laughs> skin type one, right? Yes. But anybody can get a skin cancer. So what am I looking for when we're talking about skin cancer? You know, even physicians have sometimes a hard time figuring out, like a general practitioner or your family mm -hmm. doctor, you'll see a little red patch that's scaly. Yep. That's a superficial basal cell, but it's treated as what? Psoriasis, eczema. Yeah. I'll put a little cream on it, it doesn't go away. Basal cell can look like a pimple. Oh, I'm going to squeeze this, it's going to go away. It's just a pimple. Right. And yes, basal cells early on will hide and heal and retract, and then they come back. Squamous cells can look like warts. They're crusty, yeah. right? They yeah. look like old crusty papules, right? Yeah. Those are, those are squamous cells. Melanomas, they can look white, they can look red, they don't always look black. Interesting. So please see a dermatologist because we're the ones that are going to tell you what you have. We're the experts. Can you tell me about the skin cancer prevention screenings? So people think if they come in, we're going to put them in a box, you know, <laughs> some kind of scanner. Well, we're all used to getting scans for cancers, right? So they go, well, where's the machine? Where are you going to put me in? Where are you going to shove me? Right. Today, we have to undress you head to toe. We lay you on your belly. We check the whole back scalp between the toes. You can get them anywhere, right? Groin. And then we flip you over and check everything again, head to toe. That's a skin cancer screening. That's the way it should be done. Why is it important to get these types of screenings? Melanomas in particular have increased by 228% mm -hmm. in the last 30 years. Yeah. That's a high number. The fortunate thing is what? The death rates has started dropping. Yeah. Because we're catching them early. You know, skin can repair itself. Yeah. That's the beauty. Your skin won't forget what you did, mm -hmm. but it'll repair itself. Well, if you're ready to schedule, now is the time at Trillium Creek, and that's because in January and February, if you have insurance, there is no copay and no out-of-pocket expense. So make sure you log on to tcohio.com and schedule that appointment today.